In this video, we're gonna talk about 10 different side hustles or let's say money-making activities that you can do with your photography that you can start right now. I get asked on Instagram and TikTok and on YouTube quite often how you can actually start making money and despite I make a few videos about it, I wanted to do just one to give you some ideas on how you can start employing your skills into making money. Now, I'm gonna categorize with three main elements all the different activities. The first one is how easy it is to start. The second one is how much time does it take to actually make 100 US dollars in profit and the third one is how much dedication you need to have over time in order to keep earning money I'm gonna give votes one to five to each of these categories for each activity so without further ado let's start with the first one and this is about stock photography now I've listed here more than 12 or 15 different websites that you can go and check out to sell your photos and to sell stock photos is definitely quite easy Every Everything that you need to do is just go around with your camera, take high quality photos of literally anything, and then you just need to upload them on different websites, then maybe add some tags, add a description, add maybe your price in some of them, and then you earn commission based on how much you sell. This applies for both photos and videos. And obviously with videos, the potential is much higher because you're paid a little bit more, especially let's say you have 4K footage, maybe you have a drone, or maybe you post videos that are in high demand now personally I've never done stock footage because there's one problem that it takes a long time initially to then upload all the content and is not guaranteed that you're gonna earn a lot of money but I've had a few friends that did it and they're actually making good amount of money and this is completely passive that means you do it once and then you leave it there it requires very little maintenance and therefore you'll be able to earn passively over time on the previous photos even Mattia Poggia made a video saying that he uploaded let's say videos two years ago and is still making money today which is I think is super cool now just to mention a few I made a list of 12 that I found on a website and these are Getty images which is the best option for premium then you have footage.net you have Shutterstock you have Adobe stock you have Pwn5 which is the best budget option then you have Pexels best for free so in Pexels usually you don't get paid for it even if you download or if you sell you don't get paid but you can get a lot of visibility eventually then you got iStock you have Vidivo, you have Storyblocks, you have Motion Elements, you have VDZ, you have Resolve. But then if you just wanna sell stock footage, then the top five platform that you should check out are Pond5, Shutterstock, iStock, Dissolve, and Getty Images. Now, once again, you need to do your own research because all these websites, they're different based on commission, based on the quality that they require, based on loads of different factors, and you need to understand what kind of conditions you're looking for. So. On how easy to start, I would say one star out of five because it's super easy. You just get the images that you have in your hard drive right now and then you upload them on this website. Then how long does it take to make the first 100 bucks? I would say a four because it actually takes a while. It's not that you sell one image and you get 150 but over time it can actually accumulate and make some good money. And then the third one, how much dedication you need to have, I would say two out of five, because probably if you upload 10 photos, you're not gonna make a good income because you need to consistently, let's say, take photos and take videos and then upload them. But then everything that you have is kind of like compounding effect so you can earn much more over time. Then the second activity that you can do to earn money is about wedding photography. And then there's not much explanation right here. It's just about finding a couple that is about to have a wedding. Then you you can do it for free eventually the first time you don't feel confident or maybe you can approach another photographer that is doing wedding photography you're just gonna do his assistant so that you see how it works and then slowly you can start getting more and more clients with your portfolio and then you're gonna be more confident you're gonna earn much more money now this is an activity that I think is extremely profitable if you know how to do it well but is extremely exhausting as well so I will give it a three on how difficult it is to start this because if you don't have client, if you do not know anyone in the wedding photography business, I think it is not that easy to find a first client, but not impossible either because every one of us has friends that sooner or later they're gonna get married. And to make the first 100 bucks is extremely easy once you find a first client because maybe you do it for free the first time, but then already starting from the second time, you should start charging a bit. Even 100, 200, 500, 1,000 depends on you, depends on what country you live in, depends on what kind of industry standards are there, but I think it's pretty easy once 
once you find the first client. Then the third one, how much dedication you need, I would say five out of five, because you just need to keep doing weddings if you wanna earn money. Then the third activity, and probably one of the best you can start with, is event photography. And this I'm talking about event of your city, of your town, you can do maybe clubs, so disco photography during evenings or nights, then you can do fairs or you can do university events and all the sort of events that comes in your mind. And this is very simple because there's so many events in the world, in the city you're in, that you probably don't know about. And even here at the same concert, you can start for free and then eventually from the second one, third and fourth one, you can start charging little and then you increase it over time. Once you increase your confidence, you increase your portfolio. Now here, how difficult it is to start, I would say a one star out of five because it's extremely easy. There's so many events, it's just about you getting out there, sending messages to your friends that are actually doing some sort of event to maybe restaurants, to whatever comes in your mind. You just send a few messages and then someone is gonna reply you, especially if you're doing it for free. Then how much time it takes to do 100 bucks? I would take two out of five because it does take a little bit of time, but I think as soon as you do two or three events, you're already made 100 bucks. So I think it's pretty easy. But then how much dedication you need to have for me is still a five out of five because you just just need to keep doing these type of events and usually they're not easy because they're very intense they require maybe a short period of hours where you need to shoot every single guest that is there anyway I don't think it's easy but again I think it could be a very great way to start your photography business then the fourth activity is about taking headshots and in this case I mean simply headshot for like LinkedIn for like CVs and you can do this with corporate you can do this with events you can do this with universities and you can also reach out to people on LinkedIn this is not extremely easy to start because you need to have content and you need to propose yourself so I would say a three how difficult it is but that again this is a two on how much time it takes to build the first $100 because I think doing hatchet is quite easy because you need to have one single setup and eventually you can shoot 100 people with the same setup without even moving the camera. You can have a tripod and simply remote bop, 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 and just shoot. And for how much dedication? I would say three because it's not as difficult as doing events because you need to go and let's say in a corporate and then you need to start shooting every single person. But again, you have one setup. So you just need to click and maybe you charge $50 per photo. You do, I don't know, 50 people and that's, 2500 bucks then we're talking about the fifth activity and this is being a commercial photo or videographer and this is how I started actually so this means doing videos for brands out there for activity for small or big businesses especially in this recent years with TikTok, with reels with YouTube shorts you want to propose short videos especially related maybe to social media maybe in the vertical format also for photography this is because the audience right now everyone that is watching if you want to discover a brand you have literally five seconds to grab the attention of that viewer and then bring it to your own website now even in this case the best tactic the best strategies and that's how I did it is that you propose yourself for free to brands to friends and then you're gonna start build your portfolio and then maybe you can just post on Facebook or you can keep reaching out to brands and then start proposing for a little fee and then you're gonna increase later this is because especially the beginning and especially with videos maybe with photos is a little bit easier but you gotta be confident when you're pitching clients and you gotta be confident with the result that you're gonna pull out so if you do it for free there's no expectation for you but if you do it and you're charging that you need to be able to deliver that value now what i did is that i was just making videos with friends and then i was posting them on facebook i've never reached out actually to a brand at the beginning but then video after video i started actually receiving requests from friends and then from businesses and then i started getting paid and getting paid higher and now here I am today so once again I was able to build a business simply by doing videos for fun posting them on Facebook and then people would see the value would see the quality and they would just message me back so how difficult is this to start I would say one and five one because you just gonna propose yourself for free to brands and if you propose yourself today to 20 or 50 different shops I can guarantee you that at least one two or three they're gonna reply you with yes okay let's do it for free the first time 
five is because if you're just posting on Facebook and your quality is not improving and you're not really putting much effort, you're not trying to reach out to brands, then this alternative won't work. At the same time, how much time does it take to make 100 bucks? This could be a four because finding the first paying client is not easy and it takes time, it takes confidence and it takes a lot of courage. Same thing with the dedication you need to give to this job is about four because if you don't make videos for clients, you're not gonna earn. It's not a passive income and you're actually trading your time for value, for money. Then the sixth activity that you can do is actually content creation for businesses online directly related to social media. And this is about asking brands to send you products and then you take photos of that product or maybe you take videos in your home. So no matter where you are, brands will send you a product to your home, you take photos and then you send them back. This is a little bit different than what we said before because in this case, you have a little bit more freedom and it's more interesting. Plus you can use some free tools like Canva to create short and engaging maybe videos or photos for Instagram. And you can even batch edit, you can create maybe templates, you can do loads of stuff. I highly suggest you check out Canva. This is not sponsored whatsoever, but I do use Canva because it's super easy and allows to create amazing content, especially for social media. How difficult is this to start? I would say a four out of five, because again, it's not very easy to find clients and you need to reach out, you need to cold email loads of different brands before you're actually gonna see any result. But then how much time it takes to make actually 100 bucks, I would say a two out of five, because it's quite easy to get paid if brands decide to actually send you products. And then how much dedication you need to have is actually two out of five, because once again, you can have a product from a brand and then you shoot a hundred photo in a day, you do eight hours with five different setups, and then you'll be able to sell these photos five by five to a brand, maybe monthly, maybe 20 a month, maybe 30 a month, and then if you shoot one under, you have it for three months. So you just need to do it one day, two days, three days, but then you have a revenue that could be spread out over time. Then the activity number seven is actually monetize your audience. And this is about growing an audience first, and then you'll be able to monetize afterwards with brand deals. This is what I'm doing right now with Instagram and TikTok, but let me tell you that it took me basically two years before starting to see any revenue on my account. So this is definitely the most difficult one of the whole thing, but if you enjoy, if you have a passion, if you enjoy what you're doing, this is gonna be the most rewarding because right now my life is honestly, I love it. I could have never imagined that I could travel having my free time, be my own boss, not having to go on nine to five. I love the life that I have right now, but I really work my ass off in the first few years. So this is not only about brand deals, but also for example, YouTube ads. So once you get monetized on YouTube for 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers, you'll be able to earn from ads that are actually running on your own videos. And then other funds, let's say the TikTok creator fund, even though despite my 680,000 followers, I earn nothing, like literally, literally less than a dollar per day, actually less than 50p per day, which is ridiculous, but whatever. So in this case, how difficult it is to start, I would say a five out of five. It's not difficult to start, but it's just difficult to keep going, keep creating value and then grow your audience. Same thing, five for how long does it take to make the first 100 revenue? This is probably the longest period ever. And it's also a five on how much dedication you need to have, because if you're not consistent in social media, you will never ever build an audience. Consistency is number one factor to grow an audience. Then related to, let's say, having an audience, so you can do the eighth activity, but you don't really need to have an audience. This is about selling digital products. In my case, I have my overlays, I have my preset that you can purchase on my website. And this is another kind of monetization of the audience, but different than what we said before, because I've created my own brand. I have my own products that I'm trying to sell to then let you improve your photography with my experience and with my products. In this case, you can create everything that comes to your mind from guides to presets to planners to to overlays, brushes, panels for Photoshop, everything that comes in your mind that is digital, you can try to create it and eventually running ads on Facebook, running ads on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, whatever you want, and try to sell it even if you don't have an audience. If you have an audience, I believe is a little bit easier, but even if you don't have it, it is not impossible. How easy to start this one? Well, I would say two out of five, because it takes time to build that product, but once you've built it, you're actually there, you don't have to do anything, and that's why it's one out of five on the commitment that you need to have. But then it's like three out of five to actually make the first 100 in revenue. If you don't have an audience, maybe it's easier, but if you don't have an audience, you might need to invest in ads, and therefore making 100 in profit, it is not that easy, 
but not that difficult either. So I suggest you try to build something, you try to run some ads and see how it goes. Then the ninth activity that you can do is actually doing workshops. And by workshop, I don't mean that you actually need to have an audience to do this workshop, because if you're good at photography, you're doing what you're doing, you could just go to your local council, to your town, to maybe even your friends or whoever maybe owns the space and try to organize a workshop for beginner photographers, for portrait photographers, whatever comes in your mind. I think this is very interesting. If you have a base and if you know your country, your town, you can try to organize maybe courses that are local and that only have maybe five to 10 people and that you teach these people your knowledge. You don't have to be an expert in anything because even if you are an intermediate, you can teach beginners how you started, the basic of maybe using a camera or how you can take great photo using a phone and so on and so forth. So I don't think this is that easy to start. So I would say is four out of five on how difficult it is to start because you actually need to go out and find that sport organized, find people, meet maybe a partner and so on and so forth. And then I think to make the first 100 bucks is not that difficult, so I would give it a three out of five, but then with the commitment is a five out of five because organizing things, it is difficult. It can give you great reward, but at the beginning, it's just difficult. Then the 10th activity is actually creating online courses. I have online courses about Lightroom, about mobile photography, about Reels, actually one is coming out soon, about Instagram, about Photoshop, and I'm creating even more because I love to teach people what I know. It's just a little bit more structured than let's say just making YouTube videos. And you can create a market without having an audience using existing platforms like Udemy, like Skillshare, like Domestica. There are a ton of different platforms that actually can host your course, or you can just go, for example, on Teachable and build your own platform. So you just have a website where you host your own course and drive people to your website. This last option is the most difficult one, but it could give you huge rewards at the end of the day. I choose to go and put all my courses on Skillshare because I think it's a great platform that is super cheap and allows to have one free month for everyone. So if you wanna check out all my courses, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. This video is not sponsored, but by signing up, you're gonna have one month for free where you can watch all my courses and all the courses on the platform and then if you want to stay it's going to be ten dollars a month which is incredibly low and still you'll be able to watch all the courses so i wanted to give my audience a very affordable option and this platform is amazing because i just need to upload all the videos i don't need to take care of the marketing because i don't want to do marketing it's definitely something that you want to consider if you don't have an audience maybe you want to find a better alternative but uh, this is totally up to you i think it's quite easy to start but not that easy because it takes a while actually to build a course so i will give this a three out of five in on how difficult it is and to make the first 100 bucks i would say a four out of five because it's not easy to make money with online courses if you don't have an audience and how much commitment you need to have over time i would say one out of five because you build a course you leave it there and you're good to go maybe if you host on your own platform then you need to do a little bit of marketing but in my case i create the course put it on skillshare done so here you go guys these are 10 activities that you can do on your own to start making money with photography i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you very much for watching i'm going to see you in the next video which could be this one ciao